Hey everybody, this is Patty from Alderman Farms. Today I'm planting my okra plants. Here is something new that we're doing with our okra. I'm actually going to plant it in one of my boxes. We're, we've decided to do a lot more in our boxes this year. And so I've already got my first four holes dug. You see, I brought my tape measure out here. You uh, plant okra every 10 inches. And you see I've marked here for 10 inches. I've marked 10 inches all the way down on both sides. And I've actually marked 10 inches this way too to show me where to put the holes. Now I'm gonna dig my holes. Uh, I'm gonna do my sides first, right like that. And then I'll do that end across there. And then I'll come back with my middle trying to keep my holes uniform. But you know, if I get off a little bit, no big deal, um, because I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put some I'm gonna fertilize it pretty heavy, and so I'm actually gonna put my fertilizer in the hole that I dig. And right now it's almost noon, so I won't be planting them now because I don't want to stress them. I'll plant them this evening. No, this isn't a snake, or I'd be screaming. This is a worm. I love it when I find worms in the garden. They help the soil so much take too long i got all my holes dug and i also put manure in each hole um before i started this i actually uh, went over the bed you see a few little green like right there that's just some uh plants that i use the ames action hoe uh, to uh, remove and that's just the leaves right there so anyway i'll wait for this evening and hopefully i'll remember to film okay well it's about six o'clock in the evening I've got my little um, okra plants out here. And you see how they're laid over? That's because I wash, I washed them. I uh, watered them. So they're kind of leaned over a little bit. So I'll make sure I watered them good before I plant them. Um, see my water and bucket. I'm having to carry water out here. I have put water in every hole. See, that hasn't uh, sunk in yet. But anyway, each, each hole has water. And now I will go through the trays and take my okra out set them in the hole and then i'll come back and plant okay i got all my little plants laid out i think i added up i think i have 56 plants i had just enough i even planted some small ones there's a couple that one that's kind of a funky looking one left those but anyway i'm very very pleased with the amount of okra i'm able to get in such a small space so next i have to cover them up My soil didn't stay real close to the roots like I would have liked it to because it'll it's stressing the roots a little bit by doing this. And also, by me digging my holes this morning, my uh, soil has gotten a little dried out. But I did put the water in the hole, so I believe that's going to be okay. And, then, uh, and, and, and the way you do it, you can bury it about a half an inch above where it was growing. So... So I'm just having to break this up. I think it would have been a little easier to break it up had I not sat out here in the sun all day. But it just made for a faster job this evening. And you don't plant, you shouldn't put your plants out in the middle of the day. You should always do that in the evening because it does stress them and it, they don't need the hot sunshine too. And we're going to come around and put leaves all around these plants to just her to gra the grass. One thing I forgot to mention was the name uh, of my okra, and it's in emerald green velvet. So, and I've got these seeds uh, from Wheel Height, and I planted them. It looks like two eighteen, no three eighteen. I planted them, and today's the eighteenth of. April, right, Tommy? Yep. So they're a month old, and I'm very pleased with the growth that I've, I've seen on them. So, but they're emerald green velvet. I grew some of this last, some last year, and I was pleased with them. And I'm very pleased with the seed stock and every the seeds that I got, the, the way that they've grown and everything. Very, very pleased with them from uh, Will Height. And he does have or some organic seeds and stuff, too. I got quite a few of my uh, 
pea seeds and all, and hopefully we'll be getting to that soon. Now I have me a box of okra planted. I think it's 54 plants. And typically this would have taken up probably two rows in my garden. Um, and I've, I've been able to, I think it's saving space for me. Also, a lot of times you start okra, you just plant the seeds out in the garden. But I, I really like planting the plants like this because then you can come in and mulch around them and help to keep the weeds down. Because it's really hard to keep the weeds out when you uh, plant the seeds out. Patty mentioned having to carry water to water the plants. Of course, we've also got a water hose out here with a spray nozzle on it, but we have solved the problem of having to carry water with drip irrigation. I wish we'd have thought about it sooner. <clears throat> I wish we'd have thought about it when we were laying out the, the boxes, building the boxes, because I would have put the, um, the pipe that you see strapped to the top of the box, probably down at the bottom of the box, drill some holes to run the tape through and had the uh, drip tape actually under the soil. Um, of course, we are, we're now going to come back and put mulch on top of the drip tape so that it's not exposed. Because as it is, that black pipe gets really hot. We could use PVC, but this pipe is designed for this. It's flexible. Um, it, it's not supposed to degrade in the sunlight as much. And, uh, it, it, but it gets really hot during the heat of the day so which you know we should be watering in the morning and evenings anyway which is which is what we are but anyway i thought i'd insert this little update on patty's okra bed we've got some weeding to do in there a little bit but these are the plants that you saw her planting a moment ago and you'll see again in the next clip where she says goodbye if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We love to hear from you. And visit us over on our website at aldermanfarms.net. Hope you're having a great day.